go. It's for sale. Let's go. Let's go. Here of some little monster episode four. I have no idea what just came over me, but it was fun. Anyway, yes, guys, this is the fourth episode of Let's Play Little Monster. It is I, Freezer. And in the last episode, we dealt with Tan Fields here, and we opened up a new area called Allo Lake. Ooh, it's shiny. But we're not going to go there yet. Instead, we're going to go to a place known as the Arena. Welcome, LP. This is the Battle Arena. Monsters can join four leagues here and fight it out. Wait, that's not the voice I gave him. It was more like, Monsters can join four leagues here and fight it out. Join a league? Yes, here at the arena, you can join a monster league and have several battles. Basically, what it goes is there are four leagues. They go in order from weakest to strongest over here. And each one has a cost. And when each one has... Bleh, each one has five battles in it. These five battles are straight on through. You don't get breaks in between them or anything. But if you can beat them all, then you get a special gem. Plus, you get the gems of all the monsters that you beat along the way. And we're going to enter the Sea League here because I feel really bored. Join Sea League. Ten coins, please. Sure. Okay, I'll take you off fee now. Less experienced monsters fight each other in the Sea League. This is the Practice League, so winning isn't too hard. Relax and enjoy. Ready? First bout, start! Yes, indeed. And as you can see, we really are starting off with the weakest of the week. We got a Hebo here. He is not going to last long. In fact, I believe he's done for now. Yes! Hebo was defeated! Two experience gained! And yes, we do keep that clutch gem he dropped. Victory! Good luck at the next bout. Second bout, start! And it's a Pocky. We've already seen one of you two. But we will see a monster we have not seen before in this league. He's not even gonna get to attack us. Well, so far we're doing good on damage. That's two wins, keep it up! Third bout, start! Oh man, there is a story I have to tell about this place. I'm wondering if I should tell it now though, or wait until I get to the uh, relevant league. Because the story that I have to tell regarding to my nostalgic memories of this game and this particular area it's not part of C League, it's the next one up, B League. Three in a row, don't get cocky! Fourth bout, start! Yeah, the monster we have not yet seen actually comes at the end of this league. This Libby is not going to get a chance to attack us either. We are an LP unstoppable rampage of rampaginess. Now for the final fight. Last one, do your best! Final bout, start! Yes, it is Mach Miki. This is the monster that you actually get if you put a needle gem in the can. I always remember this monster fondly because it's actually one of the ones on the American box art. I don't know about the Japanese box art, never seen it, but it's pretty cute. I like it. Mac Miki! I don't know if it's actually pronounced Mac Miki because it's kind of slurred together like Mac Miki. Mac Miki is the closest I can figure out, and hey, we gotta level up at time dwell. You've completed C League! Next, try a hard league! Your prize is a headbutt gem! Got the headbutt gem! Yes, headbutt gem is a stronger t type attack gem. And it is a lot like high kick! And ooh, look at that! Our love is almost maxed out, so we might actually want to go to the salon soon. But for now, I will stick that in my deck. Somewhere here. And place one of the kicks. Because even though Headbutt can be used to make a monster, but the monster you get from setting Headbutt is a little difficult, so I don't know if I'll fight that one yet. So now that I've shown you that, how about we head on to Owl Lake? Yay! As you can see, Owl Lake is a nice little lake. It's got stars floating. Isn't it? Isn't it cute? Owl Lake is kind of an interesting area because this is the first area in the game where you really start to see puzzles. Well puzzles, I say with air quotes. They're really more like adventure game moon logic rub items against other items and get things to happen. For example, use an empty can here. What is this? We get some water from the lake. In fact, that's what it's called. It's called water. Water doesn't do too much right now, but we'll be able to use it for something in the future. If you use the get item to search the area, you can also sometimes find a unique item here, which I was lucky enough to find. I didn't plan that. You found an aloe leaf. Hurrah! Hollow Leaf is a healing item? Wow, when we leveled up, our HP went up far. I didn't realize that. We went from 129 to like 141. But yes, Hollow Leaf, healing item. It heals 1 HP. Ooh, very dramatic, right? 
That's where you are wrong, because as you can see, it also helps you lose weight. Ten pounds is stricken from your figure when you use an aloe leaf. Ack, says Marion. Ack, she did not like shedding so much weight so fast. But that is okay, because it makes her lighter. And she doesn't have to worry about body image issues, I guess? Hmm. Anyway, now that we have healed up a little bit, I think we're going to attempt something a little bit... Hmm, scary, shall I say. Something that requires great preparation in order to attempt. See the gem that we got from beating up that boss, Dowser? Well, if you said it, this little guy appears. Looks like Libby a little bit, doesn't he? And in fact, in the picture book of monsters where it shows all the monsters you have used, he does in fact appear right after Libby. But he is not like Libby. He is no pushover. This particular fellow is quite dangerous, especially early on. But the gem he drops just makes it so worth it. If I successfully fight him, you will see the fight. If not, I will cut back here and I will be ashamed. Yeah, this is Buster, and as you can see, he is not messing around. He has a hundred and twenty experience. Ooh, and look at his gems. Those are lots of scary things. Hundred and twenty experience, more like hundred and eighty HP. Thank you very much. Oh boy. He just hit with a hammer, and we are almost dead just from that. Luckily, nothing else he has so far can damage us, so we're safe for now. All he has is a gem wave. Ooh, I'm a little bit worried about this. So we're gonna gem wave him. Now, I know I said in an annotation that gem wave doesn't really reset your speed, but it does in fact reset your speed if your speed was full. It's really confusing, I know, but it makes sense. Oh boy. Charm, charm, freeze him. Yeah! Buster was defeated. Now, as you can see, Buster drops a square gem. And Buster's gem looks like an angry face, but there's a times two on it. Ooh, that's dramatic. What are what it could be times two of? Times two damage, perhaps? Yes, in fact, Buster drops the M Min Hand gem, which, if you put it in your deck and it appears in your hand, will double the damage that you do. It is a very good gem, and you definitely want one in your deck. I'm also going to show you the monster that you get from setting it, but first of all, I'm going to purchase some things at the good shop and heal myself. Actually, while I'm here, I will pick up a battery, because we are going to need that very shortly. And the beef can, I can afford the extra tonnage, but I could not afford that very well, because now I have two coins. Don't worry, we'll get him back. Let's move on to the next area of Aloe Lake, shall we? Ooh, what is this we see here? Looks like a little house. Do you think you can interact with the little house? Well, of course you can, but we're not going to do that right yet. First of all, I am going to show off... The fact that I now have a hundred love! I'm going to show off the monster that you get from setting Min Hand. It is a cute little guy with weird tentacle things in his head. His name is Popper. Do you suppose he plays the format of magic where you only use common and uncommon cards? I don't know. But he is nowhere near as strong as the gem that you have to set to get him. Or the monster that you have to fight to get the gem to set to get him. He did, however, stun us. Yeah, we're okay. Especially with all of these parallelization gems. And high kick and we're done. Hopper was defeated! As you can see, he drops a square gem too that has a little club on it. This is in fact the club change gem. If this jet club change gem appears in your hand, it will in fact change your suit to club. I haven't really talked about this, but all of these suits do in fact have an order of strength against one another. Spades, like Marion, are good on hearts. Hearts are good on clubs, clubs are good on diamonds, and diamonds are good on spades. I never really use those gems much because usually, I mean, it depends on which monster you want to use. But I will put Min Hand in, and I'll put it in over another one of these kicks. Now my deck list is starting to be a little less organized. You have a bunch of, like, you know, four in a row, looks all tidy, and then you get down here and it's all this mess. show you the last area of Owl Lake before we go on to the final one. And see, it's a nice little view of the lake where you can see all the cute little stars in it. And I will show off one more monster before we go on further. Hmm. Be right back in a second. Okay, I'm back. While I was out, I picked up another Gem Wave gem, which I'm going to set and show you the monster that appears when you set Gem Wave. Ooh, exciting. Yes, you get this cute little guy. You will see why he is important to us in just a second. 
his name is Guran. He has 200 HP and he's a little stronger than the things we've been fighting so far. But that's okay because we rely heavily on paralysis and few things can touch us anyway. Music charms. Yeah, I know I'm using a ton of paralysis gems in my deck right now, but actually my final deck probably won't have this many. See, the thing about paralysis gems is that while they're very useful, they don't do a whole lot of damage. So if you want to take out enemies with any sort of speed, and especially some of the tougher enemies who can do tons of damage to you at once, you can't rely just on paralysis. Guren was defeated! Eight experience and four coins! See, he drops a gem that looks like someone's forehead shining, obviously. It is the baldness gem that makes all your hair fall out. No, of course it isn't. It's the headbutt gem! Where did it go? It's the headbutt gem that we just picked up from the arena. Like I said, I'm not going to set that yet, because the monster produces a little bit on the strong side, and I don't want to deal with it yet. So instead, we're going to go back to the second area of Owl Lake. Mm, while I'm here, first I think I will pick up a bit more water, because I have another empty can. Yay! Any more aloe here? There is nothing to be found. Now, you may be wondering, you know, who lives in this little house and how can we interact with them? And what you have to do is you actually have to use a battery. I know, there's no indication whatsoever that you have to do this. That's kind of how the puzzles work in this game. You just sort of throw items around and hope something good happens. Will someone help me? My head hurts too much to go buy batteries. Yes, he can smell the batteries on us, so he just, you know, comes out of his house to get one. Mm -hmm. Hey, you! Is that a battery you have there, Shunny? Oh, thank you. Would you like a job? Buying you batteries? I suppose. Excellent! By the way, can you operate a remote control boat? That doesn't sound like buying batteries at all! I thought we were buying your groceries for you, because you have hip problems. Uh, sure? Great! You have a head start, then! The bird is over there! Good luck! And with that, we are unceremoniously thrust into a minigame. The way you play this is you basically have to catch fish. When you hold down the A button, your ship moves forward. And the more you hold it up, then the higher your net goes. But if you let go of the A button, your ship stops and your net starts to sink. And as you might want, might imagine you have to catch a lot of fish. This is a good way to make money, actually, because although it costs 50 bat points, points, gems to buy a battery, he will pay you handsomely for the fish that you catch, although I'm not catching many big ones, so I'm not sure how handsomely he is going to pay us. What's of these medium-sized ones? A big one. Can I get it before time runs out? Yes! And that's the end of it. Sure, how many fish did you catch? Lots of tiny ones, 16 tiny ones, 12 medium ones. Here's your pay, 72 coins. Spend them wisely, sonny! Now, there is in fact more to that game than just money. But in order to see it, you've actually got to get a rather high score on it. So, I'm gonna buy another battery. And I'm gonna keep playing that minigame, because I want you to see what you get from it. And while I'm here, let's buy a corn can as well, because I do need to heal. Now, I will probably cut to a successful attempt at this particular minigame. After I heal myself. Mmm, corn. I love corn in real life. More like so corn on the cob than like cooked corn like you would probably find in that can, but that's still pretty good. Anyway, see you at the end of a successful attempt. Or perhaps during the attempt itself. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know what I'm doing. Just let me at it. Oh, I'm never gonna get that big one at the bottom there. If this happens to be the successful attempt, you really can't get those big fish on the bottom. They swim way too fast. There's no good way to really go for them. Although, <sighs> seriously, it like juked around the net, man. It juked. Luckily, you don't have to catch them with the front of the net. Just sort of touching the net to the fish will work. And I am not getting an awful lot of fish on this run. This is probably not a successful attempt. Oh, seriously? There were two medium-sized fish and like a nice big one. Ugh. Maybe I'll leave that in solely for the explanation. I barely made back the pay on my battery. Great, now I talked through that, so I have to leave it in. Ugh. At least I can buy another battery. I mean, that is the nice thing about that particular minigame, is that you do generally make back at least 50 coins so you can keep attempting it. See y'all peeps in a bit. Again. Because, you know, I'm going to show the successful attempt. Or am I going to? Or am I just going to show the results screen? 
Ah, now I've talked through this one, so I have to show this one, too. This is getting to be a bit ridiculous. I gotta just keep my mouth shut over these things, man. But it's hard. Like, when I play games in real life, I don't talk a whole lot, but my thought processors are usually going really fast, so I have things that I would be saying about them if I was saying things. Sort of saying them in my head to myself, or to my imaginary friends if you so choose to think that way. So, I mean, like, in real life, if I am talking, you just let my mouth run, lots of stuff comes out of it, blah, 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 blue. Oh, really? We ran out of time just as we were. Ugh. Fail, run is fail. Oh, we could have gotten 64 at least. I like the number 64, it makes me think of the Nintendo 64, and that makes me happy. Start. Big, aw, oh, big ones everywhere. And a nice medium sized one, and that one's kind of like moving erratically, but it's coming up to meet me. I'll get that one. Lots of big, ooh. Biggies, biggies everywhere. Catch him. Oh, ho, ho. This is a beautiful one. I usually never have luck like this. Come on, come on, come on. Can I at least get those little ones at the bottom there? Scoop them up, scoop them up, scoop them up, Dan! Sure, how many fish did you catch? Not a lot of tinies, but I feel this is a good one. Yeah, 92 coins! Spend them wisely! Excellent catch! Here is your bonus! You got a gem chip! Yay! What is a gem chip, you ask? Well, it's actually a plot chip. In this game, you need to collect the five gem chips that are scattered across the lens. The lens. Yes, they are scattered across the lens. No, the land in order to do something. You will see what that something is later, but as you might have guessed from the fact that, you know, earlier Hot Joe was talking about, oh, there is a gem somewhere that can store star energy. You might guess that this so-called star gem is probably among them. I'm slightly healed up, so I think I'm going to take my chances with the monster that it comes out of. Hmm, club change? Do I want to fight? Yeah, let's fight this one. He's blue, he fits the lakey theme. Now, there's something actually about Owl Lake that makes it one of my favorite areas in the game, and that's not just that it's cool looking, but it's battle music. With the other monsters I fought, I didn't really talk about this, but I'm gonna just shut up for the first couple of moments of this battle with this monster, whose name is Image, and just let you listen to it, because it is super cool. Gained four points. Game. Not a very strong monster that image is, and the gem he drops is another one of those particular, you know, suit gems. This is uh, Diamond Block, as you might guess. It does, you know, lots of dam- not does lots of damage, it reduces lots of damage if you- when you are attacked by diamond-type monsters. The nice thing about these square gems of the, you know, club phrase is that they're usually pretty, you know, obvious in what they do. But with the other gems, there's no explanation of what any of them do in-game. The only reason I know them is because I had the game manual from, you know, back in the days when game manuals were all cool and detailed, and it actually told you what every gem did in that. And I just happened to have that thing memorized. Now yeah, let's go out with one more battle. Gotta be something we can fight here. How about another... Er, how about another press the button? No, I'm not gonna fight that monster yet. Instead, I got quite a lot of progress done here. We did everything we can really do thus far in Owl Lake, so I think I'll say this was a successful episode and end things off here. I will see you later. In the next time, we will start on the next area. We will play the minigame there. We will probably even get to the boss of that area. Actually, there's two bosses in the next area. Spoiler alert. But, um, uh, we'll see you then. So, yeah, guys, this has been Freeze Air, and I will see you later.